WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the end of the week. Options expiration and a market that has pulled back noticeably on a signal that I had in my newsletter this morning that's uh, probably one in a thousand, about one out of every three years we'll get uh, uh, a uh, signal like this. So uh, what do we have? Well, we're down three quarters of a percent on the S&P, uh, one and a quarter percent on the NASDAQ Dow's basically flat. Russell's off about three tenths, crude down three percent. And of course, uh, most everybody talking about natural gas today and even talk about it going to uh, zero. Uh, the UNG is down 7%, uh, $7.65. So we've got that weekend. We've got uh, a, uh, a low. In fact, yesterday, uh, by the end of the day, the VIX stocks, uh, which are the S&P 500 uh, options that are not in the money on either side, put or call, um, that put call ratio, people buying those out of the money uh, options, uh, was about 16%. Uh, so 84% uh, were calls. So that tends to tell you, uh, as I've said through most of this week, uh, the market tends to crack when the shorts quit shorting. Well, certainly a lot of people gave up on the big idea that the market was headed lower uh, today. And you have to think, you know, well, is there a way that we would have known that the bias was for lower today? Hmm. Is there just as there seems to be a way? Anyway, we've got a lot of stuff going on when we come back on Tuesday because, of course, we're closed on Monday for the holiday. Uh, we've got Walmart and HD Tuesday morning, Toll and uh, Pan W Tuesday night, TJ Maxx and Baidu Wednesday morning, uh, Alibaba and Moderna Thursday morning, and uh, SQ. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff uh, Thursday night, including auto test. Hang on, we'll be back with the show. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. 